trend number 10 is power blending. People are recognizing that food is medicine and in busy lifestyle we don't have time to pack all of the nutrition into our day that we should be eating. So the best way to get it in you is by blending it in a blender and walking out the door with it. Here at Feel Good Guru, our best seller is the Super Green Fuel. It contains 17 whole food ingredients. It's a great way to get your power blender on. Trend number nine is smalls. Smalls are great when you just want to have a little bit of something you shouldn't have. Great for hiding in your desk. Great for serving as dessert. Look at this container, ready to go on the table. It's good for cheating, except that's really too small. But smalls are great when you want to be bad. Trend number eight is vegetable bushery. At Yam Chops, we turn traditional meat dishes on their head by subbing in plant-based proteins. Makes a great part of your next flexitarian, vegetarian, or vegan meal. It's easy to remember to eat your vegetables at Yam Chops with our house-made carrot locks, ground beet burgers, coconut bacon, and kale Caesar. So there you go, Mom. Trend number seven is new mushroom varieties. At Richmond Station, we use a variety of different mushrooms like shimeji and cinnamon cap and different oyster mushrooms in our mushroom and Brussels sprout salad. I think people are getting away from the regular button mushroom or cremini mushroom or portobello mushroom or shiitake mushroom going to something more exotic like maitake or chanterelle or, I don't know, porcini. Mushrooms can really sort of add like a meatiness, a sort of umami into a dish, which is all the rage right now. And for trend number six, Asian dumplings. So here at Dialo, our most popular dumpling is the Big Mac Bao. When we first opened, we sold about a hundred a day. Everyone would kind of order one and then order like three more. So Asian dumplings have taken a new twist. We've kind of taken our own creative liberties with them and filled them with all types of fun ingredients. Trend number five, precision scales. Unlike the savory kitchen, we need accuracy when it comes to weights and measures for flawless execution of breads, pastries, and all the other wonderful desserts. In the domestic kitchen, it's a great tool for two reasons. One, to make sure you're measuring accurately for all that great home baking that you're about to do. And the second reason is people more and more are aware of how much food they're eating, so they like to measure out their portions and monitor their intake. Great tool for the kitchen at home. Hi from Blackbird Baking Company. Trend number four is bakery bread at home. And we all know there's nothing like that fresh scent of baked bread from home. However, if you're not interested in baking at home, Blackbird Baking Company produces over 300 sourdough breads every weekend. Seeded sourdough bread, sourdough baguette, multi-grain breads, come and check them out. Trend number three, Middle Eastern food. As much as I'd like to say it's a new trend, it's really like the oldest food in the world, right? Look at the mummies. So everyone should have all these staples in their pantry at all times. Simple things like zeta or sumac, smoked paprika, chickpeas for hummus, sesame for tahini. It's really the staff of life. Trend number two, new wave wings. Here at Hawkabar, our Singapore style chicken wings fly out the door. We toss them in a sweet and spicy chili sauce and also dust them with a prickly ash. And they go great with a cold pint of beer. Trend number one is chia seeds. Chia seeds? These mighty powerful yet very tiny little seeds pack a huge nutrition punch and they are my absolute favorite superfood. They're very rich in good fats, they're very high in protein, and they're a really fantastic source of fiber, which really helps you to smash those mid-afternoon cravings. My favorite way to have chia seeds is in my black bean chia brownies. In my book, Joyous Health, so delicious, no one will ever know there's anything healthy in these brownies whatsoever. 